a month or so ago, I recorded a podcast about kind of how to prepare for a recession. At the end of the day, I think it's hard to argue that we're not either in the start of the recession or we're very, very near to it. You got to number one, protect yourself. And then number two, what I talk about in there is be ready for opportunity, but you can't be ready for opportunity if you're not protecting yourself first. I want to talk about like the opportunity side of it. How do we capture opportunity? We've, we've got inflation here for probably at least the next year to year and a half, I feel. Okay. And so what you're seeing is you're seeing the Fed increase interest rates. They made one of the largest increase, increase of interest rates uh, in recent history of, and they're likely going to keep going up. I think the interest rates are going to be up over 8% likely uh, for sure over eight, over 7%, I feel by the end of the summer. And I wouldn't doubt it. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to call it, but I think that we have a very, very good chance for interest rates to be over 10% within 18 months now, but because the interest rates are going up, it doesn't mean the home values are going to go down, which is a good thing short term, right? But also, it's a, it's a supply issue. We need to get more people working. We need to get the, the supply built up. But eventually, the supply will have equilibrium. When it does, prices will soften. And that's amazing for all of the investors out there, especially those using creative finance. So finding opportunity in this market ahead, guys, create, oh, those of you who focus on creative finance are going to win. Those of you who know how to solve problems in a way that's different from the rest of people are going to win. Okay, those real estate agents who hyper-focus on a niche and get amazingly close at that niche are going to win. Those real estate investors who hyper-focus and turn into hybrids and agents turn into hybrids, who hyper-focus on learning creative finance and helping sellers as things get a little bit more difficult in some of the market in the next three to five years are going to win. And as interest rates go up to, to kind of curb inflation, a lot of people then will put their big chunks of money in an interest bearing, you know, type of investment, like a bond potentially, uh, cause then it, it is a better safe store of that value. They think as long as they think that the currency is going to continue to be strong. And so I am putting some more money into gold, uh, because I do feel that our currency will have a really hard time over the next decade. And I think buying some gold while it's going down, is going to be very important. I think gold will be up over $2,000 an ounce within the next 36 months. And we'll see. Uh, they've been calling that for the last five years and it got up above it briefly, then went back down. But um, I'm going to be buying a little bit more gold and I'm going to be finding some other ways to redeploy some of my cash into interest bearing accounts. So while I'm stocking up some cash and then, you know, getting a little bit of hedge with gold, I'm going to be looking for opportunities in multifamily. I'm going to be looking for opportunities for investments and businesses to pop up. Cause I think some businesses are going to be really struggling over the next three to five years where they didn't manage their cash well. Uh, and I want to, I'm going to look for other opportunities like that. So if you're a real estate investor or an agent, I'd really, really encourage you to stock up as much cash as you can, get some of that cash that's just sitting there into high yield savings accounts. And so I'm going I'm to find more of those opportunities because as inflation goes up, I, I'm going to continue to still see residential real estate being a demand. And I think that rents are still going to be really, really strong. And so guys, look for opportunities in multifamily, look for opportunities in rental real estate in good stable areas, look for opportunities to buy businesses at a discount over the next three to five years and do it with creative finance. If they're overburdened with debt, how do you step in and take over a good business that just ran what ran badly from the finance standpoint and make it amazing? I think there's gonna be more wealth built in this next three to eight years, three to five years than probably people have built in this last five years. Or a lot of people think that your wealth is built when markets go up. No, you can get rich. You can get rich when markets are going up. You get wealthy when markets are struggling. And that's when discounts are had. And then you catch the next market upswing. So guys, look out for those opportunities. Okay. And so I'll, I'll give a quick review. Uh, number one, you got to understand the economy, understand how money flows, understand what's happening in the macro economy so you can take some confident moves. Number two, make sure you're storing up some cash. That came from the last episode on preserving um, and protecting. Make sure you're storing up some cash. Okay. Uh, that way you are ready when opportunity is there. Get some of your money moving over into uh, some of that like reserve cash moving over into a high yield savings account. Uh, and then look for discounted businesses and discounted real estate and opportunities in residential real estate guys. And I'm going to be talking about more of these opportunities I'm capturing uh, and really looking at how we can use this to our advantage and also use it to our clients' advantages. We want to see you guys grow. We want to see you guys add to the community. We want to see you guys beautify the community, not just look at this as an opportunity to take advantage of situations, but to be prepared for situations where other people are maybe in a tough situation where you can help them out in a way that helps them and helps you. 